Look, the tease is really difficult. There's a lot of information on here. It's not easy. It's hard. But you know what's harder? Nursing school. You should try that out. That's that they're going to throw you into a blender in the first semester, the second semester, and that's when most people drop out. Uh, so if you think the tease is hard, it ain't compared to the actual coursework that you're going to see. Hey guys, it's John at Smart Edition Academy, and today I am super excited to bring this video that is all of the FAQs we've ever gotten for the TEAS test. We're going to go over everything anybody's ever asked from our students who are using our study guides or our online courses to all the questions that we see all the time in our Facebook study group over and over again. There's thousands of people in there. We see the same questions, so we said we need to make this video. It's about time uh, so that we can get everything kind of into one place. So if you see something in this video that we we didn't cover, leave it in the comments below. We will reply to you. We'll answer that question for you and we'll make sure that we add it to any future videos. With that said, there's going to be a lot of future videos. We have a lot on our channel. You can check those out now. And we have a list a mile long of videos that are coming out over the next couple of weeks and months. So I want you guys to see those videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so that you get notifications on all of those videos coming out. We really think they're going to help you out. So, you know, check those out. Before we get started, there's also gonna be some links below. Check out those links. I talked about the Facebook group. There's a link to that, super, super good resource. I want you guys to get in there and make use of that. There's a link to a free practice test. We created this test. It's actually from our online course and it's just like the real test. The questions are very similar. You're gonna get a scored report with your strengths and your weaknesses so you know what you need to focus on. And if you need more help or more resources with anything, uh, there's links below to our study guide and our online course. So highly suggest those. I'm of course biased, but I know for sure that's what you need to help study. Uh, so with that said, let's get right into it. What is the TEAS test? The TEAS is a nationally recognized pre-admissions test used by nursing school schools and allied health professional programs. So, you know, things other than nursing school, like dental hygienists, things like that. A lot of these schools require the TEAS test. It's the most popular one amongst all of these schools. And the programs utilize the tests and the scores to recognize which students need extra attention in different subject areas and which ones are really not a good fit for the program. So I want to stop there and just talk about that for a second, because it's really important. And a lot of people you know, dread the TEAS test, they, they are not really excited to be taking the TEAS test, but it's really important for these schools to have students coming in to take the test. And the reason why is, look, the TEAS is really difficult. There's a lot of information on here. It's not easy. It's hard. But you know what's harder? Nursing school. You should try that out. That's that they're going to throw you into a blender in the first semester, the second semester. And that's when most people drop out. Uh, so if you think the TEAS is hard, it ain't compared to the actual coursework that you're going to see. So it's really important for these schools to know that you'll be able to keep up with that. And you know what really happens, they're actually saving you uh, a lot of time and money here because in the first and second semester is when most people will drop out or quit their programs. And what happens when you quit? You've already signed those student loans. You've already paid for those semesters. And guess what? You're not getting your money back. You're out like $10,000 because you know, it wasn't a good fit for you or, you know, there was another program that was a better fit. So this test actually makes a lot of sense. Look, we all don't love it, but there's a reason for it. And that's why. So that's just the real deal take on, you know, what the TEAS is all about and why you have to take the test. So one of the top frequently asked questions is how many questions are there in each section of the test? So you've got four sections. It's gonna be reading, math, science, and English. Uh, for the reading section, there's 53 questions in 64 minutes. Math has 36 questions in 54 minutes. Science, 53 questions in 63 minutes. English and language usage is gonna be the shortest section with 28 questions in 28 minutes. Now we do a deep dive on each of those sections in uh, other videos that are on our YouTube channel. Those videos are like 10 to 15 minutes each. So I'm not gonna go over everything here, each and every topic, but we do do that in those videos. So make sure you check out those videos if you really wanna get into you know, exactly what's gonna be in each and every one of those sections. Uh, another FAQ, how much does the TEAS test cost? So this really depends on your school. And, you know, we see the price vary from like $50 to $80. So that's what you can expect. Um, 
you need to confirm the cost with your school. Uh, and there's uh, some other fees that go into the total fee. So sometimes there's a registration fee or there is a registration fee to sign up for it. If you want to send your scores out to different schools, there's a fee for that. We cover that in another FAQ. Uh, the test center itself might have a fee. So there's a few things here it might add up and do know that the fee is non-refundable by ATI. So uh, once you've signed up for that, you're in. And you know, again, the, the price is gonna be about 50 to $80. Where do I take the TEAST test? Uh, you have a couple options here. Uh, they have a PSI testing centers. And so those are gonna be like off-campus testing centers. A lot of colleges and universities have their own testing centers, so you might be taking it there. And then you can take it at home via a proctoring company called Proctorio, and that's where you kind of take it at home. Someone's watching you take the exam, making sure you're not cheating. Uh, we actually just did a whole video on that that goes over everything you need to know for taking the test at home, so check that video out. Um, and then once you begin registration for the TEAST exam, a list of schools that administer the test will be provided, so you'll know kind of who, uh, who uses the exam and kind of where you can go to do that based on you know, whatever city or state you are in. A lot of people want to know what's a passing score for the TEAS. So that is not a cut and dry question. There is no actual like passing score, but every school uh, does have some sort of requirement or a range that they're looking for. And uh, that can range from like 60 to 80%. Or there's going to be outliers on either end, but that's typically what you're going to see a 60 to 80%. And most programs will have a minimum passing score that you'll need to achieve in order to be considered for the program. And then from there, if you meet that minimum score, the better score you get, the stronger your application is going to be. And they're really going to start to favor people with the highest score among other application factors like your GPA, you know, different courses that you've taken um, and kind of you might already have a bachelor's degree in something else. So all those things kind of uh, are taken into account for your application. Uh, so if your school is competitive, consider taking the test more than one time to improve your score and just have a stronger application. And a lot of states like California, it's extremely competitive. So you want to get the best score that you can. And, you know, in considering taking the test again, that's another FAQ that we get all the time. Can I take, can I retake the test? And so the answer is yes. However, every program is different and they have different requirements or restrictions on how many times you can take it, how long you need to wait in between taking it. Uh, we typically see some schools will allow up to three retakes, while others only allow for one test attempt. Now, some schools will make you wait 30, 45, 60 days in between test attempts. Some schools will only let you take the test once per application period, so you have to wait till the next spring or fall semester. So that all just depends on your school. Check with your program and see what kind of requirements and restrictions they have around that. Uh, FAQ, how long does it take to get my results? So the scores are provided immediately upon completion of the uh, test, you know, because it's taken on a computer. And then those results will be sent to your school, but you're going to get those right away. You're going to leave the testing center, or if you're taking it from home, you're going to know what your score was right, right after you take the test. Now, what's the best way to study for the test? Now, we've actually got a couple of videos on this. It's not a quick one uh, to kind of explain. So I'll give the really high level version here, but check out some of the other videos we have. We have like top tips and strategies and really some secrets for uh, studying for the test to do really well on it. So check those videos out. But the long and short of it is I highly suggest that you take a diagnostic practice test. I mentioned there's a link below in the description for free practice tests, but that's really one of the best things you can do for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, a diagnostic practice test is going to let you know what your strengths and weaknesses are. Uh, you know, you'll get an idea of how did you do in math or science. And I know our free practice test actually breaks that down by the topics within science or within math so that you would know, you know, I got all the questions wrong in the cardiovascular system. In this system, I should study that more, or I really struggled on fractions in the math. That's what I need to study more of. And then the other, uh, reason to take a practice test is practice, practice, practice. You know, you want to do as many questions as you can. You want to get familiar with the types of questions and just got the flow of the test and the number of questions and the time that it takes. So really practice test is a great way to be studying for the test. Um, and then, you know, I would also say get a good study guide or an online course. Like it doesn't have to be Smart Edition Academy. 
Obviously, I think we have the best online course and study guide available to you, so I highly recommend it, but there's a lot of other good resources. There's a lot of stuff on YouTube that you can check out. Um, there's, you know, things like Khan Academy and things like that, and, you know, I also just use, use a lot of different resources to, uh, you know, prepare for the test. How long are my scores good for? We hear that question a lot. Uh, so after taking the test, you can use your score for up to 24 months to submit your application to your program or school. So you know, if you change your mind or you're not able to uh, go to school this semester, something changed, you can save those scores for up to two years. This is probably one of, the, one of the most frequently asked questions. Will there be a calculator on the test? And the answer is yes, you will be able to use a calculator on the test and you don't need to bring one with you. One will be provided to you. You're gonna get a really simple like four function calculator that's math or math, that's uh, addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. And that's really all you need to uh, work on the you know, anything that you're going to see on this math section of the test. And so that is provided to you on the screen. So again, yes, there will be a calculator. A lot of people ask, can I go back to a question on the test or do I have to answer them all in a row? I can't go back and change an answer. And the uh, answer to that is yes, you can go back to a question. You can also flag questions within kind of the system to return to it. However, you can only do this for the section that you are in. So once you finish the question and you press finish on that, you go to the next section, you can't go back to that section, you know, the whatever section the prior sections were, you can only be doing that while you're in that section. So just make sure before you press that finish button, you're comfortable with all your answers and you've gone back to anything that you flagged or, or uh, you know, said that you needed to go back and take a second look at. Um, how do I register for the test? So uh, first you need to contact the school that you're applying to so that you can get kind of specifics on what they require for you to register. A lot of them will have a process right within the, you know, the school's actual website that you can do that. Um, they may handle the administering the test uh, or they have you work at, do it at their test center or a PSI test center. So that all kinds of d d depends. Um, since the test is provided by ATI, you will need to go to the ATI website prior to the exam and make a student account. Um, and you know, you'll be able to do everything on there. All the instructions will be on there, but you know, the long and short answer is check with your school and you just go onto the ATI website and they'll have pretty simple instructions for you to register for the test. So how is the test scored? This is a pretty frequently asked question. Uh, you will receive individual scores for each subject area, as well as an overall composite score. Uh, and so the scores are calculated by taking the number of questions that you answered correctly and dividing it by the total number of questions. And so this applies to both the subject area scores and the overall composite score. And you know, the, the schools are using these scores in different ways, kind of depending on your school. So we see a lot of scores or a lot of schools that uh, apply this like a, a point system so that, you know, maybe they require a 65 or a 70, but they're going to give you points for each part of your application. So if you got a 70 to a 75, you get 10 points towards your application. If you got an 85 to a 90 or whatever it is, you know, you get more points. And then your GPA and the courses that you've taken and all the other things that they take into account, add these points, and that's how you're going to, they're going to weigh your overall application. So, you know, we know how the test is scored, but that's how the schools are using these scores kind of in different ways. Can I share my scores with other schools? You absolutely can. Once you receive your score, uh, you can share that score with any program that you want or that you're applying to, including multiple schools if you want. However, there is a fee of $27 for each school you'd like to send your results to. What's on each section of the test? We covered that for briefly, you know, it's the math, reading, science, all that AMP, and then the English and uh, language section. Again, I mentioned we have videos that do deep dives in each section of those tests. They're 10 to 15 minute videos, so I'm not gonna go into all of it here, but check out the channel. Uh, we have playlists for the T's and you'll get all the answers for each and every topic that's on the test. Um, and you know that's where you can get those FAQs on uh, what's on each section of the test. So let me know if I missed anything here. If you have a question that we didn't go over here, 
throw it in the comments below. Like I said, we'll reply to you. Check out all the links below. And then uh, we look forward to seeing you in our Facebook study group. And we wish you good luck on the test. And we hope that we are able to help you prepare for and pass for your TIS exam.